This is Illinois Radio with Biko, Illinois Jones, and Pretty Riot going down right now. Yo, Rick, you did it again, my boy. Yo, I need everybody to stop what y'all doing. I need y'all to make sure y'all tune in, subscribe, give us five stars, and leave a comment on that Apple iTunes, that Spotify, your uh, iHeartMedia, whatever you listen to us on, we need you to subscribe and add us five stars. So tell your mama, your grandma, your sister, your cousin, go tell the whole All hood. Just, just share it, retweet it, repost it. Let everybody know some ill-ish going down, and we got it. From the streets to the internet. We the connect in the plug. Boy, you got a whole drop, boy. That's off the brain right there, cuz. You can't teach this. (laughs) Oh, man. As always, we bring you guys some of the illest guests from around the city and globe. And today, straight off the plane from Atlanta, we got the homie Flaskins in the building. My brother, my brother. Like, yeah. how was your yeah, flight? Was lit. I ain't had no sleep. I tried to get a little bit on the plane, but I'm up, man. I'm, work, I'm working for real. The, the turbulence, uh, any turbulence? That for sure was turbulence. I'll be saying <laughs> prayers sure on that was. turbulence shit, though. <laughs> Please don't do it today. You, got, oh, you yeah. got a personal flight attendant. You got a personal flight agent, travel agent. I wish. I got a call like, yo, we in the flight. I said, oh, okay, he here? He like, yeah, he just hopped on the plane. He just hopped on the plane. <laughs> yeah. He, Look, man, this is my first time ever interviewing you, you know what I mean? And it's like, it feel like I, we've been knowing each other for so long, yeah. and just to seeing you work work hard and just and leveling up every time I'm coming across you on IG or just seeing you in person that shows, it's like you always just moving forward and keeping it going. I really want to know, like, what made you jump into music? Uh, Man, you know what? From the jump, it started off like I was managing my homies. Uh, when I seen Louie. King Louie get a deal that that inspired me because I never really thought that it, I don't know if I never thought it just didn't seem possible that to see you know niggas making and stuff like that for real for real right and he was somebody that I'll see you know see out time to time like that so it was like if they could do that we could do it and at the time we was like you know just having fun in the streets and I feel like the uh like the buzz we had in the streets just for make just from having fun and doing whatever we was doing, I felt like we could take that same energy and put it into something that could change our lives. Right. And that really? was where it started at. So one of my homies at the time, he was rapping named Ring. We we was, you know, putting money behind him and marketing his music, trying to get him hurt. He had I know y'all heard this of song Chicago, with him with uh Chicago uh, Constant. Uh Wait, what's his name? Ring, ring. Gotcha. He, I, I didn't he, hear you. He be with uh, Panamera. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was who we started in the beginning, putting the money into him, and we he was like the only artist. So we was trying to make him pop. You know what yeah, I'm I seen a video. I remember he had a video on D Gaines. Yeah, it was like one of his, and it was like him and I want to say, Spenzo. Yeah, Spen- yeah. Thank you. Just Spenzo said it. Yeah. And that's when I first got. Uh, yeah. I, I woke up one one morning and thought about that and called all of them and was like, let's put that together. We was it was me, him, and P at the time. We all put our money together, made that, made it happen on the real. And we was thinking like that's gonna make us, you know, blow. Like, and the song was lit, but we didn't know too much about it because it was just us at the time. Mm. So we, no, go ahead, go ahead. We uh we didn't market it. It was a lot of stuff that we could have did that we didn't do because we just didn't know too much at the time. What do you feel uh, was the biggest setback at that point? I'm gonna keep it real, man. People not. Want it as much as I. I mean, not as not one. You gotta want it. When it comes to this music, you gotta work at it like somebody who ain't got nothing at all because that's the type of dudes you competing against. So True. we, our advantage was we had the money to to invest in you know the artists, but the grind didn't match you know the the hustle. The hustle. You know mm. what I'm saying? You need that grind. Even the the money and stuff is cool, but you need that grind. Like I don't know if y'all know how I grind my music. I do it on my own. I grind like I ain't got nothing because I want it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you here. I'm here. Yeah. I've been begging y'all to get on shows for you feel me, since yeah. I started rapping. Yeah. I know I wasn't all that nice at first, but I, I knew I was going to be working, though. You hey, know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, with your, persistent, with your, your persistency um, and you hitting us up, what happened? We, we brought yeah. you out. 
Yeah. Rock the stage at a sold out event at Sub T. So for sure. Now we got another one. Yeah. Coming yeah, up. Definitely. Hey, and I'm excited. I'm ready. <laughs> I mean, speak on that event a little bit, man. Uh, it's July 5th. Let people know. Yeah, July 5th is Jujilla. Uh, is Jujilla. And what's, I can't even think. I'm, my bad, y'all. It's the lake. What's I, his? Uh, I got you. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> uh, my other boy, and Nut, Nut G. Yeah. It's Jujilla and Nut G show. But it's, you know, featuring me, uh, Count, Trigger, somebody 40, else. Uh, 40, 40 and TJ Mafioso. Know, yeah, about two other artists, too, that I missed out on. It's going to be a lit show. Everybody going to rock out. I'm so, coming to rock out. Right? So coming Real. from the manager side and yeah. coming into the rapper side, what was like? how was that transition for you? Uh, not hard because I just felt like instead of giving other people advice, I can take my own advice. It's gonna be a lot easier. Okay. Was it easy to take your own advice? Yeah, because all it is is work. All my only advice always is work hard. Mm-hmm. We're not okay. working hard. Like we're not doing this, not doing that. Nobody want to listen. I just figure I could do it on my own. And like I had to really question myself. Like, am I really finna be a rapper? But it's like I know my I know the streets gonna feel my story because I ain't telling no lies. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, so like you said, you was working with Rame and P, and the whole pirate thing is yeah. what y'all started together. Yeah. And like, are y'all still making music together? Nah, I'm just pushing on my own. I got my own plan mapped out, and I'm just. They didn't, you know, they didn't. They felt like I couldn't rap, or I, was, I shouldn't rap, or whatever the case may be, and that was what they was going with, and I wasn't feeling it. So, is it? You know, is it? I guess easier for you now with the with you being solo. Yeah, it is. I mean, I need. It's like I won't say I need help because I believe in God and I feel like I got enough help. Everybody and I'm needs gaining. help, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I need help. Trust me, I need help. But I'm not going out my way for it. I'm just doing work on what I got. You know what I'm saying? And praying to God daily. Like, feel like God my help. So that's just the route I'm taking right now. Do you see yourself, you know, in the near future, uh, working with uh, working with P. Ring and him again? Nah, I'm just. Working with everybody who on the same type of vibe that I'm on, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so you come from a transition from being a manager to being an artist. Like, how tough was it to just to get in front of the camera? Because I know a lot of people can come from behind the scenes and just start just jumping in the forefront. You was ready for the spotlight, like but that. You know, my whole from the jump. I don't know if y'all know this, but I wanted to be like Rockefeller. I wanted to be like, Dame. Okay. You know what I'm saying? See, I, look, I we really, here. Okay, I want to be Dame, too. I want to be Dame, for real. I always, like, I'm, before I even rapped, I always used to watch his interviews. I like everything. About, I feel like he was the coldest CEO ever. It's never going to be a yeah, CEO like Dame. He pushed. Like his, Dame. He pushed Man, and, like, when I watch, like, I watch documentaries before I rap. Like, when I was managing, that's all I do is watch documentaries and just gain knowledge from people who, are, who was in position I want to be in. I watch Dame Dash every morning. And that man just had that drive, like, how he was... How they say he believed in Hov more than Hov believed in himself. That's a real man. That's, that's a, a real man. manager. And right I was there. like that. I believe in dudes with harder than they believe in themselves. They didn't even see their potential, but I did. I was invested. I was going broke, putting my money into other people. You know what I'm saying? Right. Didn't even do it for myself. I can't even get features. I don't got a feature for myself yet. On that thing. Do you ever regret investing so much into other artists? I do, but I feel like at this point, God, it was just God teaching me lessons. Now I feel like it made me stronger for myself. Like I don't have no help, so I feel like I'm a I'm a team now. I'm a, I'm a team. I feel like I'm it's for me right now. Mm. So actually, let's 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 <coughs> take a step back. Um, fly skins. How did you you know manage to come up with that name first and foremost? Uh, skins. You know what? My one of my coaches, uh, yeah, this name been stuck with me my whole life for real. One of my coaches called me Skins in in high school, and it been stuck with me. Actually, they used to when I went to Finger, they used to be like Skin. You know, I heard a camera song. You had to kill uh the back in the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They used to be like Skin up uh, back when I went to Finger for real. I used to play <laughs> basketball. That's what they used to say. Hey, you better have play with your yeah. tall man. Boy, you about six seven. And it, that name been stuck with me my whole life. So my last name Skinner. So people just be like Skin Skinner. Okay. Mm. And you yeah, fly. You. Yeah. And I was always this before rap. All that I always was kind of on my way with the fat. You know that's why me and Chuck before rap and Chuck was doing the icon. I was just about to ask that's how we your really favorite fashion. <laughs> I gotta rock with my boy. I'm rocking with my boy. Now that's a lot of people who I rock with on the fashion design though. For real, for real. I've been supporting the black owned businesses for real, for real. So how did you and uh, Icon Moot come into yeah. how y'all I used to buy clothes from Icon Moot, go to the shop and spend all my money with the boy. <laughs> <laughs> For real. 
And we always just had a connection because he, you know, same type of dude. He a genuine dude. He really was one of the first ones to show me support. Mm. My own homies was talking down. He was the first one. I never forget my brother called me like, man, everybody laughing. With Chuck like, I could see him doing it on the real. Free my brother too, man, on the real. Damn. So how was that to, you know, y'all being super close and you seeing his brand just go just. Man, I'd be excited for stuff. That's like inspirational to me. I'd be excited to see stuff like that for real. That's what's up. Because we always up. tell each other though. We know when when it all bro- break down, we are gonna both be at the top together. Like you it's know, money out here for yeah, everybody out here, man. This. And we help each other whatever way we can. So you you release your first song, right? It was uh, we we decided it was LeBron Jordan. Yeah. And uh, like, how was that? Your first song and the uh, and the review. You know again. what? That wasn't even the first song. I went through a whole year just making music every day because I was just started rapping. So I was just trying to find myself, find a sound. I was. You remember your first rap? Yeah. What was the first rap? Yeah, I, I I don't even know remember it, but I got it in my email. But it was hard to me though. Even people who was in there was like, for you to be, you know, just starting is hard though. <laughs> and then you know, when I heard no makeup, yeah, banger, yeah, yeah true so. banger. It's got to me worldwide written all on it. Yeah, um, and you know it, it touches the ladies, but it still yeah. got that. It still got that um for the men. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, how did that record come about? Just me being myself. So all my music just really go back to, if you know me, you know my character, then you kind of know, like, man, it's skins. You know, like, when you say skins, that's that's what you know skins for, for real, for real. If you know me. I like, love this record, One man. after the um, the LeBron and the LeBron Jordan song, it was the granny joint you did yeah. for your grandmother. I liked it that one. And then, like, you know, I bumped into you in Atlanta. Yeah. Shout out to Ski. Shout out my boy Ski. Ski shout man. out to Ski. Matter. Ski was the first dude to get me in the club. I was 18 years old. He was getting me all the clubs downtown. Ski. Matter of fact, the crazy thing was we was in there with Dirk. Yeah. The crazy we was in there with, with Dirk. Dirk, Dirk and right. AB. Yeah. Yep. And we was uh and and that's when we first finally met. Yeah. And uh, we was like we gonna work we gonna do something. Yeah. I think like not even like two months later you dropped my favorite. Yeah. When I feel like it. When I feel like it. That joint right there was like, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I was like so hurt. Like, like, tell me how did you come about making that song? Come through fly when I feel I like it. it. It's just another one. Like me being, you know, I like to get fly. That's something I've been into my whole life. For real, for real. It's like you switched it up because most of your songs now is like a verse and a hook. Like yeah. A hook verse. <laughs> like what made you go into that, to that format? Mm, you know what? I don't really have a way to do music. It's just like when I hit a beat, I, I get in the, like get in my vibe and and it just come to me. Like you know, I just dissect the beat for real, for real, and just go in on it, come up with the hook, come up with the verse, and then it just put it together. Cause I wanted a feature on it, but it's like I hate waiting for features to come mm-hmm. back. Right. Yeah. So that's process. really why I do my own. You know, that's really why I don't have a lot of features at the time now. Like. It's it seems like you got a lot of songs in the in the cut, and it's like every time I start to like one song, you coming out with another song, yeah, or a whole project, mm-hmm. yeah. And you don't even like your 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 campaign is like, look, let me just put this out, yeah. And you don't even look. Once you, all right, cool. Two months later, he, I gotta slow down. Though. You know what's crazy? Yeah. He told me that a couple months ago. He told me that he was. The, he just told me that Chuck told I got, me that. Okay. Yeah, told me that a couple months ago. Like, yeah, bro. You, you be let moving fast. You gotta let it breathe, bro. You right though, because. Yeah. Come through yeah. fly when I feel like it, bro. Like that was my joint. I'm like, yo, like yeah. I'm mad. Like the DJs, they didn't do what they mm-hmm. were supposed to do with that joint. Yeah, I mean, Man, you like, and me both. But that's why I keep coming up with hits because right. I feel like they gonna really have to take to one. But at the moment now, some gonna catch. I feel yeah. like no makeup is the one that's gonna draw yeah. them in, and then even the old stuff, like no options and stuff like that. It's going to come to light, you know, and I'm going to get features on it and stuff like that. No, Makeup actually did something that was kind of nice to me because it was around the time Alicia Keys and, and a lot of couple other celebrity females started doing this thing where they stopped wearing makeup. Yeah. You know what I mean? How did that make you feel when girls was doing videos on Instagram wiping off their makeup? And I they like did a no makeup challenge. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And I got a video of Offset 21 rocking to the song, like, in Atlanta. I've been trying to just really work that song, like. Can we expect a video of my brother? Man, it's coming soon, Thank for real. Thank God. I'm about, I did it, but I did a video and didn't like it. Never put it out, and I was mad about it, but just like, man, I got to keep going. I know I know the type of quality and the way I want the video to be so that it can, like, make a big impact. 
Who uh produced no makeup? You know what? I can't even think of his name off the top, man. Cause it's a it's it's not a big producer. It's somebody I came across on YouTube. Okay. Well, we finna actually get into that joint right about now. Make sure to check out the Illist playlist in which we provide you with the latest tracks we play live on our show. Head over to Spotify and search Illinois Radio to follow our playlist as well as follow our podcast. Now let's get back to the show. We are back with the homie Fly Skins. How you feeling, my brother? Can't complain, man. Happy to be here. You liking the blue vodka? So yeah, the blue vodka cool. Got me nice and wavy right now. <laughs> Ready to talk y'all ears off. I hear that, man. <laughs> I hear that. Now, um, <sighs> I forgot what I was gonna start at. There we go. Atlanta. Yeah. Um, when did you transition to Atlanta? Uh, 2016. So you've been there for about three years now. Yeah, I really moved out there really to help out with the artists. Like to meet people and just because that was already my job, just doing whatever I can to help. And that feel like you know, and to move up out of here, get out of the city. So, so much was going on at the time. Okay, so you moved in Atlanta, pretty much to <coughs> make it a, a another outreach. Yeah, for um the, the team, the budget, yeah, yeah, the budget, the team. Damn, so you did all. That. Damn, and it and it just crumbled. I'm just crumbled. so this is where the pirate. It sounds like comes you was the at. one putting on in mm. the work. I was. Oh, okay. Any, and anybody in the city could tell you that. Like, for real, for real. Anybody. They'll so, tell you like, how hard I went. So how did the pirate movement start, if you don't mind sharing that with us? Because I uh, saw, because uh, I didn't know all y'all was connected until I saw, shout out to Ben Lanzizis. He posted a throwback Thursday with you, P. It was a lot of y'all. And I'm like, oh, snap. I didn't know it was a connection. Yeah. So, like, how was, like, what, what started the pirate movement? Really, uh, you know, like we, what a pirate is. I just feel like, well, what a meeting, you know, everybody got their different meaning. That's why it's like different versions of pirates. Like the, what we stand for is more so morals, integrity. You know, living life with just principles and really going out the what whatever it is. Like we from the bottom for real. So I feel like we was just like, you know, it, it's like a term of when you think of a pirate. They go after the goal, right? Yeah, they go get what they need. They go get what they, they go, want. Exactly. And we feel like, you know, we going after... What y'all want. What we want, success. Like, family, you know, longevity, right. taking care of people, our families, kids, everybody around winning, helping each other. Doing right, though. I mean, speaking on kids, congrats. Appreciate it. Yeah, congratulations, too. New father. Yeah. How to, go ahead. I was going to say, how the little one been treating man, you, man? He be crying a lot, but that's my boy, <laughs> though, man. For real. I, I was praying for a boy, though, because I want him to go to the league. So, oh, okay. So, so how does uh, having a child change your grind and, 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 and how you move in the music business? Man, I've just been going 10 times. It's like more, it's more motivation. I just made a song about my son. I'm going to record it tonight, too, for real, for real. But it's just, man, super inspirational because now I feel like I, I already was not doing it just for myself as well. But it's like, it's a whole different, like, in, boost the energy when I, like, get focused and lock in on my music. Because I just want to make sure my young boy, he going to be good for life. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Is Support system-wise, is it, you know, is it difficult for you to get out when you want to get out as far as, you know, going to do events Traveling and things of that nah, nature. Nah, not recently. I mean, he a month in, but since this whole month, I've been kind of like now. Like, I've been working, but still, like, you know, I'm going home tomorrow because it's Father's first Father's Day, so be back in Atlanta tomorrow. But it's not really that bad. My girl, she been on, uh, you know, the, yeah. the relieve or whatever that case is. So right now it's cool, but she go back to work Wednesday, so. It's probably going to slow down, but <laughs> I'm going to still find my, I, I, what I do is, though, I make so much music. When I get a chance to lock in the studio, I can knock it all out. So I'm not really going to be tripping. When the off days come, I shoot videos. I'm going I'm to work that out. Nothing going to be a problem to me, for real. I'm, it's going to be a bump over road. I'm going to get over. Yo, um, that's actually, since you said studio, let's talk about studio sessions with you. You know, how how is the setting in a studio session with you? Pretty much, uh, really, I'm I I go in the studio already with my songs recorded. Now, I I sit, I make all my songs in my crib. I got like a nice, I get in my vibe. I got like glass windows and I turn all the lights off. I might be up at three, four in the morning making songs like dead ass, like for real. Just really in my vibe, like looking outside, thinking and just like letting the music really come to me. Yeah. So you say I made no makeup at about three in the morning, looking outside. I heard that beat. And was like, play play with it all night. And I was like, this though, this 
this finna be the one. Like, for real. I agree Went to the that. studio the next day and laid it down and was, like, geeked off of it. Like, I know I got to get up out there with this. What do you feel can help turn no makeup into the track you want it to be? It just got to get heard, for real. Like, lately I've been focusing. I just told myself, like, I got to focus more on putting more money into marketing. So putting them, putting these songs on, like, the bigger sites. I already put music videos on Ball Alert and stuff like that. But, like, what I've been doing is, like, every night I can get out, I go to the clubs, how the DJs play it, just, pe- just to see, like, the reaction that it get, you know, that the song get. And lately it's been doing good. Like, I perform, and any time I get, I do a lot of open mics, like, in Atlanta. You, so You ever thought about record pools? What's that? I don't see. I'm, like I'm saying, I'm not. I'm not uh, all the way. I don't got everything down packed. I know as much. I try to learn as much as I can daily. But record any- pools is, is pretty much where you submit your music. Um, you put your music in a record pool, and DJs pretty much take heed of it and they play it. And these DJs are from anywhere in the world. Anywhere. Hmm. That's really how you you get a spark. That's how you get your radio plays up. Because you never know what DJ is gonna grab that record. Um, so so is I would it like suggest a way to make sure I get to put it in the right DJ's face. Like I mean, it's, you, you just gonna DJ, put it in the pool. DJ Freddie B, yeah, help exactly. You. Freddie B, I, DJ, DJ, mm-hmm. DJ Freddie B, one of our main DJs. He's a head of Virtual DJs. Vertical. Vertical He's a DJ. Midwest distributor for Vertical. Mm-hmm. So I get you in tune with him, um, and I'm pretty sure he can introduce you to other record pools as yeah, well. I'll but be ready that's to do definitely that to a now. Source. Whenever he say he ready, and I'm ready. I've I've done it before. Trust me when and I it say works. it works. Yeah, it works. Because everybody, man. the song, anytime I give it to, I was in the. Me and Chuck was in Atlanta last time. He would tell you this. It was a DJ from Philly. She like, yeah, I don't want to play no songs, mess up the floor of the party. I'm like, look, if it's weak, I promise you, I will pay you another hundred. I have to pay a hundred. I'm like, I will pay you another hundred dollars. She put the song on. I got a video. She <laughs> like, man, this hard. Oh, yeah, dude. I got the video on my phone. She like, man, this hard. I'm like, I told you, like, rock. Keep that in your rotation. Like that's really how I've been having to come at the DJs because it's hard to just any spot I go to where it's a DJ, I'm walking up to him. Yo, I got this song. It's a hit. I'll pay you to spin it for me, please. You know what I'm saying? So I, you, uh, it seems to be that you're an artist that under you still understand the importance of DJs. Because yeah. yeah. we've yes. been having that conversation a lot. That yeah. a lot of people feel like he DJs actually are caught. Under the under the status of uh, the DJs, uh, are, are, is YouTube the new DJs? That's that it kind of is though. You kind of got to break. That's not. I won't say it's the new DJs. I won't say that because you still got the DJs that really break records for the people who be outside. But it's a lot of YouTube is like another world. Yeah. So you got to tap in in that world in order to you know get the big break that you want. Mm. And we we didn't talk about that one. <laughs> I, I, that's why I said with this no makeup video, I'm trying to put a lot into it and make it you know kind of catchy and to the point where it's like catch people's attention. Not only do they like the song, but they like the video. For the YouTube world, you know what I'm saying? Well, like I said, I suggest record pools, my brother. And for sure, I'm a, we uh, gonna after this, we gonna definitely talk about that. I'm gonna um, link you up with Freddie B, and y'all set some up because if you just dish your money out, you know, paying DJs to spin it, you might as well invest into record pools because yeah. that's what they do. They push your music to DJs, right? And, and I, I knew it's something I'm missing because it's like I can't keep paying DJs every night, even though that's what I'm doing. But it's like I'm paying a different DJ. I am got some DJs I got better relationships because I pay them more money. So whenever I'm, they they probably not playing my music when I'm not there, though. And that's what I really don't mm-hmm. like yep. about the situation. Like, mm-hmm. getting what burnt. You, yep. What do you feel that fly skins need to get to the next level? Man, I don't, what do I need? Uh, I probably need a, I, I really need a team, though, to be honest. I, I need a team, but I've been like, I pray, I'll be asking God to just send them people to me because I don't know how to just go. Get a team, like you know what I'm saying. Like find genuine help, people that I vibe with. Genuine. I don't want to be around nobody who I don't vibe with. Right. You know what I'm saying. It just don't be right. It don't feel right. When I meet somebody that I feel like a part of the team, I feel it in my heart. Like it's genuine. We got genuine love for each other. I want to help you. You want to help me, and we building like that. So I got people like that who really genuinely show me love, help me do what they can. And them people, when whenever I get a chance to like put them in position. I got them, like you know what I'm saying. And that's just the type of person I always been though, for real, for real. However, I can help you, and we can help each other. We gonna win. Especially if you're willing to go as hard as I am, we yeah. gonna get to it. 
a team is definitely uh, needed, my brother. Because yeah, you I need can't do team. everything you by can't. yourself. And my mm. brother, he really like would have been my. He like me. He like having two of myself, but he incarcerated right now. Like, mm. but he he played a big piece to the team because he just he, not only do he contribute, but he come with good ideas as well. Is it pretty, you know, over time, you can do a lot by yourself, but you it just can, mentally wears you they, down. What's this? I heard the scene saying, though, if you want to go far, if you want to, I think you want to get it done or something like that, you need it. If you want to go far, you need a team. If you want to go a certain or something, you could do it on your own, but you need that team, though. Man, um, our ill talk for today, if you're interested in chopping it up about it, is uh, Little Dirk's case. You know, you in Atlanta. Yeah. And so, I've seen when the situation like I first sparked off and I don't know too much. I just don't wish no harm on nobody. And I've been really rocking with Dirk music though. Like I was when Dirk first started rapping, I wasn't even really a Dirk fan. That sign to the streets three, I put that on on my flight. It's like I've been rocking with Dirk music, so I don't want to see nothing happen to him. Yeah, I know. Hope all them boys I just ran into Vine in the mall in Atlanta, so See, I Hope know all them boys you, come from up under that. With you being out there, you you feel it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel it, see it. You that see club it that, they, that whatever they talking about, that's right. I live right down the street from there. So, oh damn. <laughs> How do you feel about like you know? I know everybody has this thing of uh, when they get the bag, they leave the city. You know what I mean? But they leave the city to go to go mingle in the same environments that they just left. See, but that's like it. De- it depends on what type of purpose you you what type of person you is, what type of purpose you chasing. Like I left the city, mm-hmm. in regards to where I come from. I'm from Rose, and so it's a lot going on. I'm living in the basement, not comfortable. And I was reading like when I was down, I was at down at my lowest points, and I was reading stuff that said, when you want to change your life, you got to change yourself, change your environment. Yeah. I'm waking up every day. They shooting. There's all type of stuff going on. When I move to Atlanta. I'm in a peaceful environment. I'm around millionaires, people with way more than me. So when I wake up, I'm motivated to go get. You know, I'm after my purpose. So when I'm making music, when I'm sitting down in the house, I'm I'm just thinking. That's all the type of stuff that really come in my head. Like I feel it. Like I know my time coming. Right. Everything I'm around, just to how I feel the when energy. I wake up in the morning, for real. What's something motivational that you tell yourself like every day? Man. It's so it's like so much that I don't know where to start. At, That's the first real. thing that come yeah, coming up. I think about you, man. I think about this music and just want to win so bad. I always just, I'm like I, I'm a constant thinker. Like all I think about is ways to how can I get on. Like put myself on. As far as being motivated, it's just I'm I'm naturally motivated. I look up, I wake up, and just read stuff that put me in a mindset to like get something done a day. Like just daily. That's big. Yes. Are you a morning person? I'm up every morning. I can't even sleep late. Like they I, say, those are the most productive people. Yeah, I used to wake. I ain't been in the gym. I used to be in the gym every day, but since I've been doing mute, like locked in with music and running around trying to like get the budget and do everything, I've been slacking on the gym. But I used to wake up every morning, go to the gym, then start my music. Now I'd be a little tired. I slowed up on the workout, but I ain't slowed up. <laughs> I ain't slow up on the music though. I got like I make so much music. It's ridiculous. What's one thing you wanna um you wanna you what what's the print you wanna leave on the music game when it's all said and done? I wanna be one of the best to do it. Like that's really why I work so hard. I, not only just to fulfill and do it because I said I could do it, but I really feel like I'm gonna be one of the best. Like to do it though, seriously. Like I make t- different type of music. I try to match unlimited vibe. I try to make songs for the ladies. For the streets, for the for the dreamers, people who got big dreams, and people probably tell them they can't do this and that. I'm want to be their motivation. I got a lot of dudes like who I play basketball, so a lot of basketball players. They say my music motivating, and I like that because that's my purpose. Right. That's dope. My bad. I was thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> right. Look, look, you motivated him to drink some water. <laughs> right. It's healthy. You feel yeah. you try to overcome the negativity. What's some, things, what's some things, you know, people need to be looking out for fly scans for? Just a lot of new music. Just good music, man. I'm, I'm making so much music. Y'all going to see it, though. I'm about to just start dropping visuals, a lot of new visuals. I really want to know. Do you do you know how many songs is in your catalog? Man, if I show you my phone, bro, none of these songs even made. And these songs I made when I first started rapping, but now lately I make. I just made a song on the plane. Like I'm really working like nonstop because I wanna. I want it that bad though. I really want it, and I feel like I gotta take my time. Like you just said, I can't keep putting it out. Yeah, take your. But time I make so much music. It. I get. I, I I wear my music out. I make it. Don't even put it out and over list to it myself. 
have it on repeat for days. Get tired of it and still ain't put it out. Now I get tired of listening to it. I want to make some more. Yeah, yeah that's you. That's a you're good very strategy. passionate. To keep yeah. moving, keep making. What's? I'll oh, go. My bad. I didn't mean to catch oh, you off. Go ahead. No, I was just about to say. You got any shows? Anything coming up that we need to be informed about? Y'all show the Illinois show that I'm doing on the fifth with Drew Jella, Nut G that we explained earlier. That's gonna be lit. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to come out. Hope the crowd. I need everybody to come out and support for real. It's gonna be a dope show. Really, I feel like that's gonna be the best show I had in the city for real. I know it is. You feel it? I feel it too. Yeah. yeah. July fifth, Friday, July fifth, and Get it's a Friday tickets. right after the fourth. It's yeah, Friday. that's gonna be lit. Ten dollars advance, fifteen at the door. Fly skins will be in the building. Um, alongside Jujilla, Nut G, TJ Mafioso. Uh, 40 and G count. Yes, the OG G count will be in the building. So grab those tickets right now. Also, I mean, let people know where they can find you and um, where they can get your singles and things like that. Uh, all music on all music streaming platforms Apple Music, Title, Spotify, Instagram, Fly Pirate underscore skins, Twitter, the same thing. Introduce your, your 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 single, my brother, that you just handed over to us. Yeah, I just dropped a new single called Treat You Like a Star. Like I said, I like the Make songs for the diva, so this one of those joints. Fly too, though. I kind of wrote the little Melanie wave. It was something I just tried for real, for real, but it came out a hit for real. 